No, it was maist. Yeah. You still on for it? What do you mean? What? Do you mean you're cutting your grass? It's flaming, it's October. It's been raining all night. There's no point cutting your grass. You don't need to do it. And your table. Whilst your table's fine. You polished it last night. Right. So what you're saying is, you're not coming on another trip because you want to cut your grass and polish your table again. What's what about the fans? Yeah. There's comments on every video saying, why aren't, why aren't you turning up? Well, you know, there's no commitment. You cut your grass then. I'm sick of it. Okay. Okay. Right, fine. Hi, yeah, is that um, Grass Cutters Anonymous? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to make a referral. Okay, okay, you'll be in touch. Okay, thanks for that. Cheers, bye. He's more of a fat head. Me or oh, yeah. Stop <laughs> faffing round. Definitely Chris, but... All you do is faff around. You're the biggest faffer than me. I'm not a faffer, you're the you're faffer. You're definitely a faffer. This takes about two, two days to pack his stuff. As you know, like looking at it all week. And like just decides which, which camping um, stove should I take. I will take um, this one of 20 today. Silent. Right, we're here. Managed to get three of us all together on one video. It's a rare thing nowadays. So we're heading up to the Lake District. The weather is awful. PK is suitably attired. He's been duck hunting this morning. Uh, he hasn't caught anything. Speed camera. So hopefully the weather's going to improve. We've got a kayak with us, which Walshie's going to blow up with his mouth. And uh, yeah, any thoughts, PK? I have been duck hunting, I've been quail hunting, and I've got us all some quail eggs. Some quail. Walshie? Yeah, looking forward to it. You finish your table and your grass, so you yeah, grace us with your present. Who's this imbecile? I did a quick bit of mowing this morning just to finish it up. A little bit of weed, but got it in the end. Yeah, if it stays raining like this, the drone's not going to be up. Just to let you know, I'm not flying the drone in any more like rain whatsoever. Yeah, but yeah. hopefully it's going to go off. Not rambling on. Let's get to Boods in Windermere. That'll do. I'll one have pound, a couple of them. Pound sixty-six. Well, she's right. stealing my stuff already. He's not going to be all them, is he? So all you do is steal my stuff. things. Can't hear it, and he never speaks loud enough. Every time I have to say, you can't hear what you're saying. You never speak loud enough. He gets self-conscious as well. He doesn't like talking to a camera in a supermarket, but I don't care. <laughs> so there you go. We've got a customary stop off in Booths. Oh, he hasn't bought anything. Why is that? A mini bag. What's, what are you? A minge bag. What's that? You can tell the viewers what a minge bag is. Thrifty with my money. No. Plus I've had to donate. I put it in a bag of rice again. I'm not happy about that. I've been to Aldi to get my stuff, so I've already done that on the cheap. Right. Yeah. I didn't want to give to the local dudes. Right. I was nearly going to get Helmet. a cake. Breaking news, Michael nearly bought a cake. Anything else? Any other bombshells to add? No, no, I looked at the beers just to see if there's any yeah. new types of beers, but just didn't fancy any. Got enough there with me, so. Right, I think we're going to go to the Badger Bar, aren't we? Talking about badges. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's the Glen Rothe Hotel, the Badger Bar. We're going to go have a pre kayak beer and discuss the plan of attack. Just to settle the nerves. Yeah. 
One squire. What? <laughs> PK fell for the old wrong door trick. Hook line the sink. It's locked. <laughs> What's the care? Usually just fell for the wrong door trick. How'd you get into this place? All jokes aside, you try that one there. It's that. It's that one. It's my PK. PK. Sorry. My 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 kind of chair. <laughs> I don't like other people. Oh. He looks like he's in some sort of pervy dance booth or something. Cross me power with silver and I'll tell you your future. <laughs> You're gonna live a long and prosperous life. It's a good seat this, it's very good. What have we just ordered? A pint please, thank you. Are you lying? No, no he just wants a glass, are you having a pint? <laughs> <laughs> he's worried now. It's going on YouTube, so uh, he doesn't want anyone to know. He's just ordered uh, one glass of beer. That's what you normally. It's what you. It's what you normally get. Oh, one minute, I'll wait. One minute. Do you want me to just put them through and I'll come bring it over when it's Wonderful. ready? Thank you very much. For Are you really just getting one glass? Eleven twenty, guys. Just, oh, this doesn't happen very often as well. Just for just well for the record, <laughs> you just handed over some some money for something. I just lent some twenty quid. Yeah, it's a bit hot. <laughs> oh god lad oh, oh. <laughs>
right as is often the case the sun has come out when the drone's gone away so we're here at the undisclosed location uh, it's disappointing to see quite a bit of litter uh, and fire scars left by irresponsible people uh, who unfortunately um, ruin it for everyone else as is always the case on our videos there's never ever any trace uh, where we go um, and that will be the case here um, that should always be the case it goes without saying however not everyone um, subscribes to that mode of thought while she's got his Van Gogh Banshee 200 he, PK and I are going for the DD Frontline Hammock PK's never set up a hammock before uh, he's watched a few instructional videos on the Shug Shug Emery uh, YouTube channel which is great um, so we'll see how we get on hope you enjoyed the drone footage and let's get camp set up got the tarp set up now and PK's got his ridge line while she's uh, faffing around with the tent which he's opened for the first time on a on a hill which is a textbook a textbook area I hope you like me hat I hope you like the little ears it's keeping me very warm right folks a bit of self advertising for MCM we've only got one of these anyone who wants one pay us a nominal fee and we'll sort you out with an MCM outdoor show t-shirt while she'll handle the logistics of that and the orders so here we go it's the DD 3x3 tarp I've got me bivy bag um, and it's really comfy I'm not going to go over the setup again here's the beer selection PK's got um, some some Mr Trotter's Great British Chestnut Ale um, I'll just talk you through mine very quickly I've got a Fitu um, nice oldie something different um, looks nice 30.5 percenter for later on I've got a Purity Brewing Co Longhorn unfiltered IPA a fresh pale ale by the Wild Beer Company, a classic Brewdog Elvis juice, and an eternal uh, session IPA by Northern Monk. Osmice, what have you got? I've got the, uh, the Redwell West Coast Pale Ale there. Is that an Aldi special? Yeah, it's an Aldi special. It's the a national, brand. national keg beer competition winner. I only got one of them, I probably should have got two of them as well. And then this is uh, really a steam lager, small batch craft beer. Maldi, so nice at half the price. Very good. And this is uh, one of my favourite reds from Maldi, the Grand Alberoni Zinfandel from Italy, but a Zinfandel grape. A little bit, little bit unusual there. Cracking. Um, nice and fruity, nice and strong. So this is the MCM full bodied brewery for the evening. Oh, I've got another one as well. Oh, it's just in here, buddy. Guy lines everywhere. It's going to be like, uh, what's that thing? Is it Limbo? What's that film, mate, where that uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones has to like do all the limbo through the uh, the alarm sensors to go and steal a painting? The Thomas Crown Affair. Is it? She has to do some limbo scene. That's what we're going to be like tonight through the guy lines. Go on, what's this? The, uh, the Ryan Basher, premium pills, isn't it? Schmugenbrow. It's lovely to wrap that. Uh, just like drinking water, basically. Lovely. It feels like it's making you healthy. As you're drinking it. We've Speak up. Got the hip, we've also got the hip flask. We'll have a little sniff now. Got to be as loud as you can because we've got the housing on and it mutes the sound. Mm. Right, so we're set up. I think we're going to have an initial beer. Well, I am. A cigar. And take in these amazing surroundings here at Lake Unknown. It's lovely. Fresh, fresh pale ale. Easy drinking. Bit mellow that one. Bit mellow. It's uh, it's one pant, and it's a five and a half percenter. Gonna run out of battery soon, so we're gonna have to put a swap round. What's yours like, Walsh Meist? This is the uh, this is the steam lager. It's like a hot cross bun. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> a hot cross bun. It is, so. It's like a hot cross bun, though. Yeah. 
can see where you're coming from. It does taste like a hot cross bun. Mm. Mm. Hot cross bun in the car. Oh, yeah. Like a bit of cinnamon maybe. You get a hot cross bun? It'd be nice with a bit of butter in that, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Want a knob of butter in there? Oh yeah, you've got some butter, haven't you? Yeah. PK, what are we on? Mr. Trotter's traditional chestnut ale. Nectar. Yeah. So here we are. Look at the surroundings. It's a proper adventure. Proper, proper adventure. Again, there'll be no trace that we've been here when we've packed up. I'm gonna have a little walk around with the camera and try and see some sights, some mushrooms around. So any fungi fans? I'm a bit of a fungi. I think you'll all agree to that. Are you laughing at that, Walter? <laughs> Don't laugh. Right, I'm going to go and show you some more fungi. There's three of them here, but we're going to find some more. So here's two nice fly agarics. Um, they look like they're straight from the front cover of a children's, children's story about fairies. But look at them. Really nice. Lovely. So that's not cool, um, some kind of imbecile, frankly, who's decided to come out here, have a fire and then leave, um, leave it in that condition. That's absolutely appalling. Um, but there's some human beings for you. Uh, it's really picturesque. Show you the tree of death. It's like Russian roulette walking under this tree. Uh, look at that, Scotch pine at this precarious angle um, because they've been blown over in one of the storms and um, all that's supporting that are those top branches up there on another pine tree so to be fair if that lands on you you're brown bread so I'm going to live dangerously and for the last time because I never win the lottery. I'm not going to do that again. The tree of doom. Russian roulette. Just show you Walshie's tent. Anyone that's interested. This is a replacement. Because the first one he had. There was a bit of a stitching issue. There was a bit of Velcro missing. It's the Van Gogh Banshee 200 which had its first outing on Pendle Hill. Check out that video if you haven't seen it. It's a great two-man backpacking tent made by Van Gogh. Uh, it's pretty light, uh, really roomy. It's designed for two people, although you've got to be uh, fairly good mates to share that with someone. Um, so it's spacious for one. You can get a ground sheet, but while she hasn't got that yet, so I've just generously donated a generic one for him just to use for the time being. But as you can see, he's got his rucksack there, there's plenty of room, um, and I mean, probably show you inside a little bit later on when he uh, zips that up. But for now, we're going to see what PK is rustling up for tea. Mm -hmm. ah, it's the Rhinebasher Premium Pilsner, brewed using only the finest ingredients, according to the German purity law. Mm. It's basically like medicine, like an elixir. Just, <laughs> just feel like you're getting healthier as you as you're drinking <laughs> it. So, well, and it's, uh, it's clean, clean and crisp, just what you want. Rollo. Rollo, we've got another announcement. Stand still, Walsh. Sigh. Sigh, get ready. No stand still. <laughs> He's 
purchase some new kicks. How do you feel about that? Do you feel uneasy or? Me? Yeah, yeah I feel good. You're out of your comfort zone got, there, aren't you? Well, you bought some new clothes. I got a good deal, so. Right. Just had to get them. They're about, well, I'd say they're about half price, so too good to turn down. He loves a good bargain, does Cropper. Yeah. Roy Cropper. The mystery shopper. The man who's had the same bag for life on his weekly walk to Aldi for the past five years. I'm getting me uh, four, four veg for 59p. Call him a bag for life. You gotta use it. Right. Look at this amazing light. It's a little emerging specimen there. Anyway, this light is too good to miss. I'm going to get some, some drone footage out across the water. Wow, what an absolutely stunning place. This is just unreal. Look at that. Folks, sit back. Turn the volume up. Make sure you've got the settings on the video to 2.7K and enjoy this. So there you go, I hope you like that. Some footage from the DJI Mavic Pro filmed in 2.7K. There you go. Brilliant bit of kit, wasn't it, lads? Oh, yeah. Wasn't it? That's Amazing. past tense. That's not good. <laughs> anyway, we're going to land this now, get back to camp, get some food on, and get the beers down on. <laughs> Is he doing that to wind you up now? <laughs> do, you, do you think it'd be a bit spooky here on your own now, Walsh? Yeah, it would be spooky, yeah. See him? There's someone there. There's a figure down there. I've just seen that as well. It's like a dark figure.
So yeah, this Chris wants me to take some footage because he's never had it. Listen, <laughs> given the amount of time I spend editing videos, the amount of money I spend purchasing equipment to film and edit videos, I think you're on a loser there, kid. You do deserve to be on it, but... What have you ever done? Not as much as me. <laughs> what have you ever done for MCM walls? Turn up. <laughs> I just turn up. Turn up and amuse the viewers. So, like I said... Buy something every three three years. If anyone wants an MCM outdoor show t-shirt, all jokes aside, uh, we'll find out how much they are and uh, we can get one to you. There's an email address. Um, Outdoor show MCM at yahoo.com. You send an email to that with your address on. Um, inquire, tell us your size. We'll get one sent out to you. Also, you'll handle that. He sorts out the shipping. Uh, I can do that probably. Nice Christmas present, stocking fillers, MCM t shirt. Morning, viewers. It's, uh, it's quarter to eight. It's been raining a little bit in the night. Um, and that's. That's what we've woken up to. Um, I'm not going to hang around. I'm going to wait for Walshy to wake up, um, get a coffee on, and head back. How was your first night in the hammock, PK? Oh, certainly, mate. Log is anything. You like that? Toasty. All right. Let's go over there, see what Walshy's doing. Stand by. <laughs> I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> well, did you have a nice sleep? Very nice. Very good. <laughs> Ooh, got a delayed hangover. It's me packed away. All done. Osprey. Good pack. It's everything you need in it. 70 litres. Some people on the old Bushcraft forums on Facebook chastise you for that you don't need 70 litre bag for one night well you do how's it going michael swimmingly doing well very good just got a couple of bottles to put away have you drunk all this beer was that you last night yes that's disgraceful Right, we're all packed up here. Uh, we're gonna make our way back to the kayak, get back onto the mainland. Um, again, just to emphasize, uh, our videos are a little bit jokey for the majority. However, on a serious note, uh, there's no sign whatsoever that we've been here. We haven't had a fire. There's no marks on the landscape. You wouldn't know that we've been. There's no marks on the trees where the hammocks have been. Uh, you literally cannot see anything. Literally just a bit of flattened ground. There's no damage being caused anywhere, and that's how it should always be. Camp responsibly. Um, let's get back to the kayak.
everyone that's the end of this video thanks very much for watching and we hope you've enjoyed it uh, we're on twitter at mcm outdoor show and we're also on instagram just search for us we have a facebook official page like it and follow it please and a group it's a closed group so send us a request and we'll let you into that and uh, we can have some discussion around uh, future videos and what you'd like to see more or less of so again please hit the subscribe button below and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure we've got quite a few more plans for this month and uh, obviously we go 365 days a year whatever the weather we'll see you on the next adventure take it easy and enjoy the great outdoors over and out